So believe it or not, this is not our park up of choice for last night. Not that I'm uh, complaining or anything, because it's a corker. So it's about lunchtime. We're just waiting for Emily to finish work and then we're going to move down the road because as we are in Wales, as you've probably guessed, I've probably put some sort of writing up on the screen, we are in Wales, we're slap bang in the middle and of course, of course, internet signal and phone signal is an issue. So there's about four little car parks around this reservoir and not one of them except for this one had signal. But we're going to move down in a minute because there's something really cool we want to show you down the bottom. There she is. Busy away, isn't ya? I don't have time for you. <laughs> you nearly finished? Yes, if you stop putting a camera in my face. Did you see AJ's towel? Hey buddy! Hey buddy! Best off if we just leave her to it or I'll get in trouble. Look at it. So the nearest town is Lanidlows. Lanidlows? I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I have to be careful that I don't wander backwards because I will fall off the edge. But this park up is absolutely stunning and we had it pretty much to ourselves all night last night. A few other vans have been and gone, a couple of cars, people having picnics, whatnot. And why not? Because it isn't absolutely epic spot there is a bumblebee i'm terrified of bumblebees so we're just going to move over here yeah but down the bottom there is some ruins so we're going to hit the road now emily's going to pack up the van and yeah and then we'll head down i do try and help when emily's doing the pack down but i get one very strict instruction and that is to just stay out the way so that's what i'm doing car park's filled up though look what's arrived <laughs> Do like a landy, and why not? Because as you're about to see, wow, there's some fantastic driving roads. Ready? Ready. Let's go. Oh, I forgot the cupboards. <laughs> Good to go. Let's go. Oh, we're in first. We're we in first. <laughs> we, are... we are nailing this. We are doing well. <laughs> So we've arrived at the mines, it is absolutely packed. We did pop down here last night and it would have been ideal for filming last night, but we couldn't stop because we had to find a park up with signal for Emily's work. The park up we did find with signal doesn't have any dog walking. So now AJ's hankering for his dog walk. Emily's now been at work all day, so she's starving and we all know what happens when she gets hangry. Everything stops for that. Summer also wants her lunch. So we're gonna stop for food. So Yay. we're gonna stop for food. So we do find it really hard in Wales because mostly because of Emily's work and having the animals. So park ups with signal and somewhere to walk the dog and somewhere nice to film is an absolute nightmare, isn't it? It is, but it's still a lovely place and I don't mind because now I'm gonna have some food, so. So yeah, we might show you the mines for sunset maybe. And then <laughs> no. we'll need to find another park up that's got signal for Emily, because she starts work at eight o'clock in the morning, you see, so she has to have it, we need to have it really first thing in the morning. It'd be better if we could park where we're filming, but it just doesn't happen in Wales. So yeah, it may be a bit, a bit off the cuff, this one. I'll stop your whinging. I'll stop my whinging and let's eat. I see it in your eyes. Yeah, I can <laughs> I'm gonna get some shit in the comments and I'll put a tummy cake on the corned beef sandwich. <laughs> yeah, you little weirdo. You do eat some weird food though. It's time we make Thank you. Oh, you know, you'll always have me. This place is called Brintown Mines, and before we even get there, there's a pretty cool bridge. And of course she's impressed by the bridge, because let's face it, it's the architecture of your people, isn't it? Trolls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you admit it. She's pow! She's pinching me behind. number one so this is a lead mine and they've been mining lead here since the 1700s although this site wasn't very lucky because they hardly found any lead also right behind us there is a dam now some of you may remember we went to oh. Malpasset dam last time was in France and I've got to be honest since we've seen the destruction that happened there standing in front of this one's freaking me out yeah and she told me this as we we're walking down here and I was like oh now I'm like ah 
Uh, I'll stick a little drone shot of Malpasset Dam over now so you can see what it is. It's a dam that was destroyed in France. If you want to see the whole video, I'll leave a link in the description because it's a really tragic story. It? it really is. It, it was a good place to visit, but yeah, quite sad. So we're going to film this very quickly, take AJ for a walk through the trees and then get back to the van before we get crushed by water. Oh God, <laughs> the panic. Fun fact number two, the workers around here didn't have actually any houses and they would have to stay on farmland and when they did get to go home they'd have to walk because there wasn't any rail lines here and they say that you have to walk nearly as far as England which I don't actually know is that far. <laughs> you walk it. <laughs> well I don't know. <laughs> Fun fact number three, the lead came out of the mine in large wet clumps and had to be reduced down to the size of gravel, which took a lot of processing, but one of the processes was women and children hitting it with stones, I think. What, well, you got one more fun fact? No, you haven't given me time to read the sign. Fourth and final fun fact, this is a barite's meal. I don't know how you say it, but barite was used to white and paint. Interesting, so interesting. Oh, I know, especially when I can't even pronounce it properly. And that is your final fun fact, because as you can see, it is very warm and we're worried about summer, plus we've left the vents open, so we're gonna make a dart back to the van now and then head off as quick as we can to find a new park up, hopefully one with signal. we we'll do the old park up shuffle, won't we? Oh, we love the park up shuffle. It seems ages since we've done it. So we'll see you around about dinner time. See you then. Won't you come back to me? I've got you in my head, you're all that I see. I've lost all my chances, I know that I am too late. I'm thinking of you, I'm thinking of you. Signal? Wi-Fi? Yes, I believe we are good, good to go. Let me just double check phone. Oh, three bars. Phone signal's good. Good to go, wrap up for the day. So apparently this car park belongs to the Hafod or the Hafod. Cannot pronounce any of these words, honestly, it's ridiculous. Uh, so we're just going to go in and check and see if we can stay and probably buy something in there, I would think. Bonus. Yeah, we can stay. We can stay. We don't have to have dinner, but obviously I feel obliged to have dinner. So can't you sell lucky? You're getting a meal out. Oh my god, the excitement is real. Yeah. Let's get the grub on. Well, you ain't got to get no grub on, have you? <laughs> well, I've got a order, ain't I? <laughs> got a order. I got a pick. Right in the Audi that almost run me over once. <laughs> So I'm just checking the menu to see if we can afford the tata in there. <laughs> <laughs> Although I feel quite um, quite honoured because she's booked her table. I, I, feel like, I feel like I'm going on a date. I booked a table. It's date night. Date night. Date night. Also, we can park somewhere with a signal. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to treat you, don't I? You do. So we've actually come here to explore some waterfalls. Emily is checking out now. That's a lot of steps. That is a lot of steps. I'm looking forward to it. Only because I get to see you out of breath. Well, if you play your cards right. Oh, <laughs> you're horrendous. Well, it is date night. Go and check out these waterfalls, see if we've got pay. Four quid for the waterfall walk. So that is us sorted for tomorrow. But now we're going to go and get changed and I'm going to take you out. Treat you or not, I'm treating you. I'm really excited. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, we don't do this very often. So 
So this kind of park up is absolutely perfect because we've got signal, internet, and Summer can get out and stretch her legs. There is loads of space for her. Uh, are we going to take these on date night or are we going by ourselves? Mm, no, sorry, you can't come this time. It's we're just us. We're going to have a date night uh, on our own, but you know, it'll be on Instagram. So if you follow us on Instagram, you'll have seen it all on stories because yeah, exactly. this one's addicted to stories, isn't you? I am, I do love a story. And we'll see you tomorrow when we take you to the waterfalls. Right then, good morning. So I feel we haven't told you where we are at all when we got here. So we're at Devil's Bridge, which is on our way up to Northern Wales. We had a bit of a washout yesterday, didn't we? Yeah, rain, rain all day. But it is Wales. But we did discover just up the road, there is a steam train, which is pretty cool. And I think if we can get a ticket, Emily's gonna show you that this afternoon. But first, we are finally going to do these waterfalls. I'm really excited to see them actually. Who doesn't love a waterfall? Who doesn't love a waterfall? Also, we've left AJ in the van because it is very steep steps down. We're going nice and early because it's going to get warm today. Typical Welsh weather, up and down, up and down. <laughs> and so we've left him in the van, so we feel a bit lost, don't we? Yeah, I feel like empty because normally I've got a lead and a pool and all this stuff, but I'm like, I'll take the backpack now. Yeah, she's got no husky pulling her up the hills now. Let's see who gets to the top first. I guarantee it's still going to be me. So behind us there is the Hafod, or the Hafod, Hafod, Hafod. We don't know what it's called, but it does excellent food. We can confirm our meal was amazing, wasn't it? Oh, and it's all home, home cooked and the cheesecake. Oh. Yeah, really, really, really nice food with really nice prices. It wasn't too bad. It was £65 for a three course meal and a drink each. So I don't think that was too bad. Yeah, definitely worth it. And we've been in their car park for two nights. Right, car, let's keep moving. <laughs> I don't know what to do with my arms. I feel really weird. And it's not as if we don't go out without AJ, but today, for some reason, I just feel lost and that I can't walk. I'm like, oh yes, this is how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what to do with your arms. Any tips on what Emily should be doing with her arms? Why don't you put a snack in each one? Yeah, maybe, like put them in my pocket. I'm just weird, weird. What you got in? It's a red kite. A red kite in the yeah. tree. And he's not even that far away, but I don't know if you're gonna be able to see him or not because so I don't know if you can hear all the bird noise, but the wildlife here is insane, isn't it? And there's red kites everywhere. I don't have my big lens, so I will try very tentatively on my phone to get a very blurred shot of him, but I'll drop it in if I can get it. But yeah, wildlife, winner. I'm stuck. <laughs> I don't, maybe you need to put another two in to do the other, the other turn. <laughs> it's not funny, I don't like things like that, you know that. But then how can you put the other two in when you're out? Well, if normal people with normal arms can reach there. <laughs> right, you need your... Oh no, I'm stuck on my bracelet, Lauren. Don't do anything yet. I'm unstuck. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. And now you have to be really quick, because if you don't do it in the time limit, it won't let you through. <laughs> Ready? Ready? Yeah. Ready? Is that in? Yeah. Right, do it properly this time, Louise. <laughs> Two pound change, baby. Maybe I've done it wrong. Is that for me? Is that for my snacks? No. It's going in my pocket. Give me it back it's now. Going in my pocket. Give me it back. Behind me here is Devil's Bridge and the legend goes that an old lady needed to get a cow back from across the other side and the devil appeared and tried to make a deal with her and said that he'll build the bridge for her as long as he gets the soul of the first living thing that crosses it thinking it would be her but she outwitted him by surrendering her dog. You could have found some bypasser. So if the question ever does arise, if Emily's going to choose dog or person, dog wins every time. Yeah, so don't be near me on that like choice part. <laughs> right, now we need to find where we're going. I don't know. This it, is what I'd look like. It suits you. Does it? It suits you. Yeah, do me, I'll take my hat off. Right, are you ready? Hats off. <laughs> You're so cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, folks, especially for you guys. Look at that view. Okay. I love the trees. So I think that's where we're going, right down there somewhere. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of steps. 
Well, I have to concentrate now, Louise, I'm going down to heel. How tall am I? How's it feel? Feels pretty good, actually. Not being regular sized. That's, that's, that's a little bit unfair. This is like super tall. Give me your hand. Oh, yeah. Big jump. So it is very steep in places with big steps and it's wet from yesterday so it's quite slippy. So sensible shoes are advised. Proud of me? Yes, sensible Sally shoes. Going back up is going to be an absolute flipping nightmare. She is going to laugh. That's right, I am and I cannot wait. Best part of my day. Woo! Ah, who's the tripper now? It's that one's slippy. I won't be careful with that one. It's I'm slippy. I'm going to hold on. I would love to see one of these. Never seen one in the wild. There's about 50 in this valley, approximately. Maybe more because they may have reproduced. But maybe when we get to Scotland, come on the Pine Martin. That's what it is, a Pine Martin. And they're gorgeous. Very cute, right? Yeah, they look, they're a bit like you. They look adorable. <laughs> look, adorable. Pure evil. <laughs> Pure evil. So behind us there is waterfall one of three. We have to rush our way round. It's about what, nine o'clock now? Yeah, I think so. And it's already getting very warm, so we do want to get back to AJ, but we're going to show you these waterfalls as quickly as we can, because it's a bloody awesome spot for a walk, isn't it? It is, it's very nice, and the nature trail is lovely as well. I need to get my hands. <laughs> it's sweaty, sweaty palm. <laughs> it's sweaty, you're disgusting. <laughs> Three waterfalls. I thought there was three bridges. No, one bridge, three waterfalls. No, three bridges. No, one bridge, three waterfalls. So when they told us it was steep, they wasn't joking. Have a look There's at this. There's one hell of a way down. Go. See a lot of colour. Only feeling blue. How was that for you? That was scary. That's like pretty much vertical. And I tell you what, I'm so glad we didn't bring AJ, like bad back legs or good back legs. Like that's pretty dodgy, especially when it's all raining. So this camera just isn't going to do it justice, but from the top, it is a sheer, it's just almost, it's like it's flat. I've got to admit, even I was a little bit, woo, going down. And it don't help that the handrails are soaking wet either. Yeah, not for the faint hearted, this one. So there is a second bridge, she could be right. It could be three bridges, one waterfall. God forbid if she's right. Uh, I'm not gonna wind her up about it though, because it does look, I think she'll struggle with this one. It looks a bit ropey. not wrong though it is steep it's gonna be a jumper off situation I think in a minute Woo! obligatory butt shot ain't had one of them for a while this cave is called robbers cave because hundreds of years ago it was a hideout for three highway robbers I love it so they used to rob travelling folk like us and no one could find their hideout. They looked for them for years and years and years, didn't they? And they was hidden away in this cave. They got to the road, nicked the stuff and then come and hide down here. Oh, it's such a cool cave. I'm thinking career change. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely tough. So we think Emily was right. We think the three bridges denotes the three bridges on the Devil's Bridge. Yeah, because I looked into it, so don't listen to Louise. Although we've come across two bridges and now two waterfalls, so I feel we're 50-50. No, I'm right, you're wrong. You are knackered, didn't you? I am shattered. So anyway, what I want to say about Wales is ages ago in an early vlog, I made a passing comment about Wales being just like France, but with a bit more rain. And I feel like we're in France. 
Oh yeah, it really does feel like that. It has that sort of like, um, I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, it does, it feels like that. Driving through looks like the pre alps du Jour, which we absolutely loved, and mm -hmm. then this is like the, the Verdon Gorge and all that kind oh, of... Oh yes, it is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. All that kind of region. So if you ever get the chance to come to Wales and you are physically fit, I definitely recommend coming here. And if you're not physically fit, but you're into trains, stay tuned, because I think in a minute, Emily's going to take you on a choo-choo train. Choo-choo! Me and you are going on a train journey, and when I say me and you, I mean me and you, not Louise, because she's staying in the van. It is time for another Emily solo trip. <laughs> Come down here. Oh, I've got to go here. Just you. Yeah, just me. You're in cattle class. I mean, no. you're all right. You're in there. You're in there. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. We have arrived, we're in Aberystwyth, I believe, and I'm on the train that's the, the Val of Rydell. So it's been quite a busy train journey, there's got a lot of people here and it was very noisy, so I wasn't able to speak to you unfortunately. But now we're here, we've got about half an hour, so I'm going to have a quick look around and I'm sure there will be some sort of fun facts somewhere along the line, but yeah, sorry guys, it's been a busy one because where I've come from, Devil's Bridge, they only have 12 tickets to sell from that area. Um, you can get more from Aberystwyth or online and stuff, but if you're going from Devil's Bridge to there and back, they only have 12 tickets and they have a special cart reserved for it. So yeah, you're all kind of put into one, but let's gonna have a look around. It is definitely all about the train journey and the scenic route because look at this when you get to Aberystwyth. Oh, we got like a home bargains van. We got an Iceland's over there and the big car park. Yeah, oh, port a potty just in case. So yeah, it is actually a really good train journey. It costs uh, 30 pounds per adult. You can take the dog on there and it's four pounds for the ticket for, for your dog as well. But um, yeah, nice train journey. Lots of lovely views in that as well. The railway opened in 1902 and was actually used to transport lead which we saw the other day and timber and then it went into a tourist train in 1930. Along the journey the train and the tracks go 680 feet above sea level. That's like really high, really high. back in at Devil's Bridge. Need to take a short walk back to the van. Hopefully she hasn't left me. So I will see you there. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden, golden. golden. Good morning. So we're just waiting for Emily to get up. And honestly, when I woke up this morning and I looked out the window, I was convinced I was somewhere in the French Alps. I mean, look at it. For miles in spring. Rainbow trout and hummingbird wing. Gold 
The sunrise was awesome, chucked the drone up, made myself a couple of new little friends playing in the field next to me, really cute little horses. Honestly, I was pretty much trying to drive on the wrong side of the road yesterday because I was just in French travel mode. Wales is absolutely stunning. I know I say stunning a lot, but Wales, this part of Wales, the whole of it really is quite glorious. Glorious, I'm going with glorious. Um, but we are a long way now from where Emily left you on the train when we saw you last and that is because we are rushing to get up to the top, the very top of Wales, to a quarry. Long term subscribers will know why, it's coming next week, but um, yeah, let's go and see if she's up. Are you up? Really? I haven't even had coffee. Do you want me to give you a minute? Yes! Why are you watching The Simpsons? <laughs> yeah. Sunday. But no one's feeding you. Oh. Uh, so I'm not going to lie to you, we are finding this hard work. Emily has finally dragged her out of her bed. Uh, we're currently looking for a campsite. So Wales, we've mentioned it before, trying to accommodate everything we need. So being able to have phone signal, internet signal for Emily's job, have nice dog walking, find somewhere nice to park, all of those things just make it a little bit difficult for us. So we're currently looking for a campsite. There's about five in the area we're trying to go to. Three of them with no dogs, one's not open till June, and then how much is that of one? £43! £43! So £43 per night, so it's just, I mean, we're going to be there for a few hours, have a shower each and put half a tank of water in, that's it, so it's just a bit too expensive, so we are loving what Wales is stunning, and to be honest, we would have had the same issue in Cornwall, apart mm -hmm. from you was off, wasn't you? Yeah, that, that did make a difference, though. So. so yeah, it is difficult, because everyone asks us, why are you always going to Europe? Why are you always rushing to get out of Europe? And it's just because the infrastructure is just so much easier for what we do. So van life itself would probably be quite easy in Wales. Yeah, because don't forget, we, we have to work. We're not just travelling, so we are working as well, so we have to work around that. Yeah, and uh, unfortunately... Uh, Emily's job and the dogs and the cat, the dog and the cat having space comes first before then the travel and then the videos come last. So if this video has been a bit rough, it's because we've just been rushing around. Keep getting up to drive the signal away from signal, drive back to signal is just a pain in the bum. But Wales, honestly, if you haven't got to deal with all this crap, I highly suggest you come to Wales because there's quite a few park ups, isn't there? There, there is quite a few, yeah. And the scenery, I went out on a little walk this morning with AJ and <gasps> wow. Yeah, really, really stunning. And the Welsh people are also lovely. Yes, so really nice. We are going to find a campsite and then I think we're going to book our tunnel ticket. We have our next trip planned. We are planning and going in a couple of weeks. Sorry for the noise. Summer has decided that right now, right now is the time she needs to go in a litter tray. So on that note, if you've enjoyed this video, please do consider hitting the subscribe button, giving us a thumbs up and dinging that bell. And we will see you on the next one.